Hi, this is Mrs. Kidman, and in this video, we are going to be looking at an introduction to mathematical proofs. Now, we've kind of talked in previous videos about what it means to prove something and the different types of proofs that we see. Throughout this video, I will be using two column proofs. However, if you would prefer to use a paragraph proof, that is totally up to you. Now, one of the greatest ways to learn about mathematical proofs is through one of the best games, Uno. So, in Uno, we've got a couple of rules. Basically, there's a card down, and you can play a card on top of it if it's one of three things. The same color, the same number, or a wild card. Those are the three conditions that it has to be. One of those three things, and it can be played. If it's not one of those three things, it can't be played. Now, what's going to happen here is we're going to be given a card, and we want to get to a final card, and we want to know what cards need to be played between in between for us to do that. So let's take a look at this first example here. So we're going to use a two-way table, or a two-column proof and I am going to say I've got my statement on this side and my reason on the other. Now whenever we write a proof the very first thing we want to do is write down what we're given. So in this case I have a blue 8. The reason why I can play blue 8 first well that's what was given to me. That's what's on the board. Now I want to use these four cards here to get to this yellow 3. So what card am I going to play next? Well if I was looking at 1, 1, and 8 in my hand these three cards here the next card I would play is my green eight. Now, why is it okay for me to play that green eight? Well, the reason why I can play it is because it's the same number. Great, so now I've played my green eight. And what card am I gonna play next? Well, next I'm gonna play my green one. Why can I play the green one? Well, it's the same color as the card that I played before. So I played my blue eight, then I played, oh, then we played our green, eight on top of it. And then after that, I decided to play my green one in front of that. Let me pull that one forward here. My green one in front of that. Now what card are we gonna play next? My options are this yellow one or my yellow eight. Can I play, or my yellow three? Can I play my yellow three? No, I can't. So what do I need to do now? Well, I need to play the yellow one. And why can I play the yellow one on top of that? Well, that's because it is the same number. And then our last card that we're going to play, this one also needs to move, move forward. Now my last card I can play is my three here. And the reason why I can play my yellow three and get to what we're trying to prove is because it is the same color. Now I want you guys to notice here, I made a statement. I played my, I had the blue eight. Why did I play that one first? Well, it was given to me. What card did I play next? The green eight. Why could I play the green eight? Because it's the same number. Our statement to our reason is why can you do that? And that's really what we want to ask ourselves. Why can you do that? If I can do it, then great, let's play it. But why is it okay that I do that? What rule does it follow that says it's okay for me to do that? And that's purely what logical proofs are. We come up with a path of logic, and then to back up our logic, we have to give a reason why it's okay for us to do that and why that's mathematically sound. So let's take a look at another UNO example here. So we're given a red two, and using a yellow two, a blue eight, a green two, a blue two, I want to get to the green eight. Now we've got a statement and we've got our reason. Now there are, just like in math, a lot of different ways to prove something is true. Just like in this UNO game, there's a lot of different ways for me to go from that red two to that green eight. Now I could go a long way. I could say I want to go from, I'm going to start with my red two and that's because it was given. And then I could say, I want to go to the yellow two because it's the same number. I could go to the blue two because it's the same number. And then I could go to the green two because it's the same number. And then I can go to the green eight because it's the same color. Now, is that the only way to do it? Of course not. Instead of going to the yellow, I could have just hopped right down to this green two. Why could I hop right down there? Well, because it's the same number. Notice, red two, green two, they're the same number, so I could play it, and we could have just had this proof. Similarly, I could have even made this proof longer by going red two, yellow two, green two, blue two, blue eight, and then our green eight. Now, why can I play those ones in order? Well, it's the same number, the same number, the same number, the same color, 
and then the same number. Now notice how it doesn't matter how I do it. As long as I get from one place to the next, I've proven it to be true. If it takes one step, if it takes 10 steps, it doesn't matter. And that's the beautiful thing about mathematical proofs. As long as they're logically sound, it's been proven. It doesn't matter how you do it. Now let's take a look at one last example here. And I want you to try this one on your own. So you're given a yellow zero using the two, the green zero, the red two, and the blue zero, I want you to prove that we can get a red six. Now remember to fill out your statement on one side and your reason on the other. And I want you to go ahead and pause the video and prove this statement to be true, that we can go from that yellow zero to the red six using those tools. Once you've done that, unpause the video and I will go over the way that I did it. Now remember, there are lots of different ways to do it. So just because you don't do it the same way I do, doesn't mean that your proof is wrong. So go ahead and pause the video and work this out on your Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to finish going over that. Now, when I proved this, I started out with my yellow zero. Why? Well, that's because that was given to me. Now, for me, when I'm going to prove this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the green zero next because it is the same number. And then I'm going to go to the green two, which is the same color. And then I'll go to the red two because it's the same number. And then lastly, I'll go to the red six because it is the same color. Now, you might have done it the same way as me. You might have included that blue zero as well as part of your moves. It doesn't really matter, again, how many steps it takes. As long as for every statement, you have a logical reason and your proof or your logical steps take us from point A to point B, you have a mathematical proof. And that is the beautiful thing about it. They don't have to be right. And it's so amazing to see the different types of proofs that we can see, whether it's a US president proving the Pythagorean theorem versus Pythagoras himself. There are so many different times and so many different ways that things have been proven and everyone gets credit because they found their own unique way. And that's the beauty of math is that it's just observing those patterns and the way we observe the patterns is what's going to bring us all together and find peace and happiness. And that is the beauty of proofs. So in the next video, we are going to be doing some actual algebra proofs um, for our mathematical proofs. Please check out that next video when, in which we go over some of these algebra proofs and we start using some of those um, theorems and postulates and properties that we've seen and can use to help give our reasons.